So let's see if you can figure out this basic math problem without using a calculator. And the question is the following, what is two thirds decreased by four ninths? All right, so again, that is the question and no calculators, but if you have the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. And of course, I'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so what is two thirds decreased by four ninths? Well, we need to interpret what this word decreased means. It implies finding the difference between two numbers. So let's uh, kind of look at a basic example. If I have, let's say I have 10, okay? And this is a good little uh, strategy uh, to use if you're confused about something in math. Always substitute, uh, let's, say, let's say you're dealing with a math problem and you're confused what's going on. See if you can uh, substitute that problem with an easier version of the problem. So let's just get rid of these fractions here for a second. Of course, you could see what this means, but let's suppose we didn't understand this meant uh, subtraction or you were confused about it. So we can kind of just uh, maybe use some easier values. So let's uh, use something like this. So what is 10 decreased by two? What is 10 degree, uh, de uh, decreased by two? Boy, I can't even speak here. <laughs> so 10 decreased by two would be what? Well, 10 minus two. So, or if we had 10, like let's say uh, we had little blocks of 10 here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, so here's, our little uh, blocks of 10, and we're gonna decrease it by two. Well, we're gonna take two of these blocks off and we're left with eight, okay? So hopefully you are familiar with uh, words like decreased or increased, but part of learning basic math is to be familiar with basic mathematical words, things like decreased, uh, again, increased, or uh, some more, or three times a number, you know, these type of things like this. So you know, uh, learning the language of math and how to translate, uh, you know, a verbal expression into a mathematical expression is very important. So don't feel bad if you got a bit confused here. But again, uh, you, you know, we're dealing with fractions that can be kind of confusing already uh, enough for some of you out there. So, you know, if you were like, well, not quite sure, use a uh, easier example, kind of like what I just did here with 10 and two. Okay, so again, we just saw that we're going to be subtracting. So if we take 10 and we decrease it by two, that means 10 minus two. So in this case, we're gonna take two thirds and we're gonna decrease it by four ninths. So this means take two thirds and subtract four ninths away from it. So we have two thirds minus four ninths. So this is what we're gonna have to figure out right now. So how do we subtract fractions? Well, hopefully you remember how to subtract fractions. If you don't, well, let's take a quick look at this. Here's the deal. We can't uh, add or subtract fractions unless the denominators are the same. So in other words, if I had two thirds plus, well, let's use another example here. Uh, how about like say two um, sevenths minus uh, one over seven, okay? Well, I could subtract these fractions because the denominators, these bottom numbers are the same. So in this case, all we have to do is subtract the respective numerators, the top numbers. I would do two minus one or one, or the answer here would be one over seven, okay? All right, so I, I can't really rush through here and teach you everything you need to know about fractions, but hopefully that's a little refresher here. So uh, we don't have the same denominators. We can't subtract the fractions as they are now. So we need to find the lowest common denominator. What number does both uh, nine and three have in common such that we can have the same denominator down here? Well, the answer is nine. Okay, so the lowest common denominator is nine, meaning that we could take this fraction right here and fix up this denominator so that it is the same as this denominator right here, which is nine. Now, again, I'm talking about some real big, huge uh, topics, important topics when it comes to fractions in mathematics. If you don't understand uh, the LCD or if you forgot how to add or subtract fractions, I'll give you some great recommendations. But let's go ahead and continue on with this problem. So what we need to do here is change this fraction, two over three, uh, such that 
uh, its denominator is 9. So how can we do that? Well, we need to take the th this 3 here and turn it into 9, and that's very easy. All we have to do is multiply that 3 by a 3, and we get a 9. But here's the deal. If we're going to multiply this denominator by 3, also I have to multiply the numerator by 3 as well. So this fraction becomes 6. 2 times 3 is 6. Over 3 times 3 is 9. So uh, the equivalent fraction is 6 over 9. So if you had this fraction, I said, hey, reduce this fraction, you would get back to this fraction 2 thirds. So 2 thirds and 6 ninths are the same fraction. Okay, we didn't break anything here. We just rewrote the fraction such that it will have a 9 as its uh, denominator. So now we have 6 over 9 minus 4 over 9. And now we can do this problem very easily because all we have to do uh, because they have the same denominator, is subtract the numerator. So 6 minus 4, of course, is 2. So that would be 2 over 9. And we always look for opportunity to simplify or reduce our fractions here. And we cannot. So that is the answer, 2 ninths. Okay, so again, going back to the original question, what is 2 thirds decreased by 4 ninths? It is, uh, the answer is 2 ninths. Okay, so again, pretty uh, simple, straightforward uh, problem, but the whole purpose of this problem is to kind of remind some of you out there that might be uh, getting back into math, that if you're going to uh, learn mathematics, you got to get the basics down, okay? Uh, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, uh, teaching math, studying math, and uh, I can tell you right now, uh, particularly, I'm going to ask you here to subscribe in one second. Matter of fact, before I tell you what I'm going to tell you, just go ahead and uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, that is how you can show uh, support for my work. I love teaching math. I mean, it does me no good to know this math. I am a teacher. Uh, that's what I love to do. But I need uh, students to teach. Okay, so if you're getting any sort of value out of this video or maybe some of my other videos, the best way uh, for you to help me grow my channel is to hit that subscribe button. And I want to grow my channel because I want to grow my classroom. And if you're going to do that, might as well hit that notification bell as well. But uh, let's just talk about uh, learning math, okay? And I'm going to tell you a big problem, and maybe you can relate to this. If you are learning math and you have a tough time with math, I'm telling you right now, it's a good 99% chance here is what's going on. You might be at this level of math. Maybe currently you're learning this in your class or you are trying to learn this particular math topic. But here's the thing, uh, for you to learn this math topic, you have to kind of learn these other topics. It's necessary for you to have a strong math foundation in order to understand this. So what ends up happening uh, very, very often times is that uh, people who are at this level of math, you know, have a pretty shaky or were struggling at this level of math didn't really master these fundamental topics. And they're like, yeah, I don't have time to learn that because you know what, I got to get to this because I got all this to learn right here. So their eyes are towards the future and they're kind of like, well, I'm not going to go back and relearn math. I don't have time for that. I need to learn this stuff. Okay, so you're kind of stuck in this, you know, uh, you know, you don't want to look at the past and you're trying to learn this, uh, you know, all this uh, material that, you know, you're responsible to learn or you want to learn. Here's the deal. OK, you the further you go up this uh, staircase right here in terms of trying to learn more advanced math, the more you're going to struggle. You're just simply not going to get it. So if you are having a tough time in math, what you need to do is just ask yourself, hey, did I really learn uh, the basics here? You know, did I fail on any particular topic? And the best way to do that is just to check your understanding or you know, do a lot of basic problem, uh, basic problems like fractions, uh, order of operations, whatnot. Uh, you know, even students that are in algebra, algebra one, algebra two, even in pre-calculus, I have discovered oftentimes if they're struggling in their current courses, they just, you know, there's one or two topics from kind of the foundational math stuff that they never really mastered, okay? So never feel bad, uh, you know, going back and reviewing, okay? And basic math is not so uh, basic. There's a lot there that needs to be mastered and covered. So I say all of that to say this, okay? If you want to learn basic math, well, check out my Math Foundations course. You'll find a link to it in the description below. Uh, it's a quick three-chapter mini course I cover fractions, everything that we're talking about here, uh, percents, I cover place values, decimals, all this stuff that, you know, most of us have for, forgotten. Now, 
if you want to take this a step further and you're not a math student, uh, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I also teach you basic math in this course, but I also teach you a ton of algebra, geometry, trigonometry. This is, you know, a full, well-rounded course. Uh, but if you're only interested in basic math, check out my Math Foundations course or check out more of my YouTube videos on my channel. I have tons of stuff on fractions, basic math, order of operations, decimals, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so hopefully this little video helps you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.